Would you read the news on Glenmark uh, in terms of what the Delhi High Court has said on, for, on restraining them from manufacturing cetagliptin or the diabetes drug, but they can sell the remaining inventory that they have and they have been doing so already? Yeah, I don't think so. This is incrementing any negative because uh, Glenmark has already been, uh, you know, uh, Glenmark has already halted the sales of this drug uh, since some time. So I don't think so. Incrementally, it changes the uh, things uh, anyway for Glenmark. The key thing is uh, to counter this, they have already launched another drug, which is tenalegliptin. Okay. Okay. And this is priced at almost 50, 60 percent uh, discount to the existing gliptins in the market. So I think they would be able to recover uh, some sales uh, which is lost uh, by this drug. So I would not see this as an incremental negative anyway. Okay, Prafal, high morning. So what's your price target on Denmark? Uh, so I have a target of 1370 on Denmark. Okay. okay. Uh, just one quick question on Denmark, uh, Prafal. Uh, what about uh, the currency risk from emerging markets? How much of that is already factored into the stock? Uh, see, Venezuela, Glenmark has a reasonably, uh, reasonably large exposure to Venezuela. I think that that risk remains. But uh, you know, if you look, if you look at the numbers that everyone is factoring in, people have already taken a cut of 50% in uh, Venezuelan uh, you know sales for this year. So I don't think so. The impact should be any more than that. Uh, more than that. The second thing is, uh, you know, some of the receivables may get delayed, uh, you know, in, in in recovery. So I think that would be probably. But the exposure is pretty, uh, you know, limited to around 20 million dollars odd. Okay, just to move away from uh, Glenmark a bit, the, the stock that's uh, you know really done wonders over the last one month or so is Lupin, uh, back to new lifetime highs. How would you approach this stock? Yeah, so Lupin, uh, there has been a couple of developments uh, you know in, in terms of uh, you know the key product which is Fortomet. Uh, they have taken some price hikes, and uh, another product which they are uh, going to launch, which is Glumenza in February. I think there again mm. the innovator has taken some ATX price hikes. So I think uh, both these things uh, augur pretty well for Lupin because. Uh, you know, they can see some sort of an upside on the earnings for people, you know, because these are not factored in, in the numbers. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, uh, Praf, will we leave it on that note? Thanks very much for joining in and uh, talking to us. So for Glenmark, no, it's uh, just not an incremental negative, considering that it's already factored in and we've already launched an alternate drug to this particular cetagliptin, and hence uh, their sales should be protected on that front. Time for a break now.